just arrived at the Fusion Hotel in Pulakwane, and there's a reason why we're here, and this is the reason. Brendan, Alan, so good to see you yet again on another launch. 100%. And this, every time I say to you, it's something special. But this time it really is, isn't it? It's always, it's always special. <laughs> but yes, the Jimmy has a, has a very uh, great heritage in South Africa and globally, so any, any new one we bring to market is a special occasion. Big Brother, the more practical version, right? What I think the world was waiting for for the last, what, 30 years? Oh, well, it, it depends. I think people are always looking for, for, for ways to for, for them to get onto the Jimny action, and now we've got uh, I mean, uh, look a at this. more doors. 330 more longer, something like that is 340. 340, right. 340 more longer, four doors, a bit more boot, etc. etc. We're going to see lots more, and I'm going to talk to you more later on. But that's just to show you exactly what they look like. And so the adventure starting. Cheryl, my driving partner. Hello. Hello, Cheryl. <laughs> Good friend, and now we're driving together, putting my life in her hands. <laughs> More important, she's putting her life in my hands for the next who knows how long. Looking forward to that. This is something special. Jimny five door space. I mean, listen, we, we got our luggage in, we stretched out, we relaxed, it's comfortable. Very comfortable. And I'm going to Botswana for the first time in my life. Yay! Yippee! <laughs> Tuli, as they call it, eh? Yes, Tuli, Tuli Wilderness. Tuli Wilderness. We're going to be on the road. You're going to see lots of footage while we're on the road. But this is, as far as I'm concerned, going to be fun. Cheryl, let's go. In a minute, convoy heading out of town. Bye. Cheryl, we're out on the road. We've done how much? About 50 odd Ks? 62. 62 Ks out of Polakwane. Yes. And we are heading, I think, towards the Botswana border. All That's days. As much as all days. Okay. But we're not going to take all day to get to all days. I hope not. Although, don't mind, this Jimmy is a great drive. Hey, we're doing nicely. Hey, you're driving beautifully, I must tell you. Oh, thank Very you. Very relaxed. 7.4 liters per 100k so far. Not bad. I must tell you something. I was looking and wondering when we left Polokwane. Because I always look at the range to empty. That's my thing. And it was saying 388 k's range to empty when we left. We've done 63 and it's dropped by 6. It's dropped to 381. Okay. So obviously we're doing a lot better. So because I have a feeling this has only got something like a 38 litre tank. I think so. If I remember yeah, correctly. If I remember correctly, it's something <laughs> like that. Sorry, there are. There are these radios are chirping. Guys, give me a break. Come on. And as you heard, well, we're on the road though, all the way to all days. I think we're hitting some roadworks or something because there's signs dropping the speed limit. But I must tell you one thing, Cheryl. I am very comfortable in this journey. I am too. And it's a comfortable drive. Yeah. But what was always my one issue with a three door? Was it was a really bouncy, bumpy drive. Okay. It was always that very jittery, I used to call it, drive because of the short wheelbase, etc. Now. So, Ellen, how are you finding your trip? Hey, what a pleasure. Great company. Lack a little car. I mean, we now. The potholes were so bad on the road that we've actually gone off the road and on the side and we're doing the dirt on road on the side just for the fun of it. But how do you like the way this thing handles potholes even? Oh my goodness, it's like you're on a normal road. It doesn't yeah. feel like potholes. Okay, that was <laughs> I hit a bump probably a touch faster than I maybe needed to. But that was part of the fun as well. But Cheryl, I've got to tell you, this thing is really... I, I back up what we said when you were driving is... The five door, the longer wheelbase has definitely made a major difference to the on-road comfort of this vehicle. Uh, the, the three door to me was just that bit jittery on road and this has just made all the difference in the world. And it's a lot of fun, eh? it really is. I, I mean, we, we're cruising along what, 7.1, 7.2 litres per hundred? It's gone up to 7.2 now because of the bad roads and whatever. But I think that's also pretty good, isn't it? I think it's very good. Very yeah. good fuel consumption. And 
just what you see is a couple of um, white Hiluxes making their way up the convoy from the rear. Okay, we're getting chirps on the radio again, but that's part of what we do Copy as well. Because we're all in radio contact. We also have some racing drivers on this trip. I don't know if you've noticed. We do. I mean, I, I noticed the interesting, we decided to take the dirt, well, follow a few of the other guys onto the dirt on the side. The others have stayed on the, well, what's left of the road. And yet uh, a few of them seem to be racing a little bit. But anyway, who cares? That's not what it's about. Absolutely. It's about having fun. How are you finding the road holding generally with steering on these bumps? You know, not bad at all. Better than expected, actually, I must say. Uh, because one of the other things I always found with these three door gym. Uh, now, gone off the little gym track on the left and I'm up on the main road again. As I was saying, one of the things about the three door Jimny was I found the steering oh, a little bit vague at times. Of course, I don't know if you. Not as many, but, uh, there are still a couple to watch out for. Is this guy letting me go? Yes, he is. Uh, the three door Jimny, I always found the steering a little bit like vague, if that's the right word, too light almost. And, you know, it, it was a little bit all over the road sometimes. Again, I think the short wheelbase and a few factors like that. So, I must say that this one seems just that much more planted and solid on the road. Thanks, Alan. All right. Good interim comment there. See you later. My name is Michael Pashut and I'm the proud owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. But I'm even prouder today to say that I work with Alan Rosenmeyer from Motor Matters, better known as a man with a hat. If you're looking for the best reviews on all new vehicles, Motor Matters. If you're looking for the best deals on new or used cars, changecars.co.za, where every car is sold by a five-star rated manufacturer approved dealer. In a dry river bed right now in the middle of Botswana, I don't even know where we are. It's not important because the Jimny brought us here. But I'm with Anton Willemse, Jr. Yeah. Who... Anton, your new title at Suzuki South Africa. Yeah, Let's so, start there. So I would be now your digital and dealer marketing coordinator here at Suzuki Auto South Africa. And indeed, we are here. We yeah. made it. And this is your baby now, eh? Yes, this you know. Been proudly made your baby. Yes, as you, as you know me, I'm an, obviously a massive Jimny fan and an avid overlander. So this is definitely right up my alley. And you know, here we have the new five door. Some keen eyed viewers would already have spot some differences. Yeah. But I am here to walk let's, you through let's it. Let's highlight. Yeah. Because... Listen, everybody knows and loves the Jimny. Mm. That's, that's a given. Yeah. So let's talk the differences here on the new five-door version. Yeah, Besides so 340 millimeters of length. That, <laughs> that is 100%, yeah. So obviously you'll see that we have some new chrome inserts here at the front grill. Um, if we move to the back of the vehicle, you'll see that we have um, now for the first time ever in Jimny, we have rear park distance control as well as a reverse camera, yeah. which is something that we have Never had on the Jimny model. As you can see, we Ground have... Ground clearance the, is the same as the three-door? Everything is the same. So it still has a minimal ride height of 210 millimeters. Okay. Um, some of the key off-roading angles, such as your ramp breakover departure angle, have minor differences. Um, the most important one being the ramp breakover angle. Yeah. That now is a four-degree difference from its predecessor. Um, to now a 24 degree ramp breakover angle. But the others are like one degree difference on a lot of the other figures, yes, yeah, which two, is two, minimal. Two yeah. at the rear and one in yeah, the front. Yeah. Which is minimal. And now here's the big thing. Yes. This is what, this is what all the doors, fuss is about. A back seat that's actually usable and livable. Yes. Uh, I'm assuming the driver's seat's set for you, so it's quite yeah, far back. Yeah, this is in my driving position yeah. and I think I could just for reference, I'm around uh, one, 188. Yeah. So this is... This is in my driving position, right. obviously, and it, it is fairly comfortable. You know, you have enough head space. You have everything is comfortable um, for four adults in a Jimny. So allowing, well, everybody. Well, if I'm driving Jimny. it, there's even more space in the back yes, anyway. So. Yes, that is true. <laughs> that is true, yeah. And you know what I'm interested by is the fact you guys are marketing it as a four-seater, specifically yes. not yes. saying it's a five-seater. So, so that said, the thing is you have to remember is that we did not increase the width. It yeah. is still the same width as the wheel track is exactly the same right. as the three door. Um, so we didn't actually have enough space. But that said, you also want everybody to sit comfortable. That's you don't it. want to yeah. force in a but person. But now let's pop open the back here. Yes, we may. Because this is the other very important practical feature. Yes. Is, hey, you know what? 
This would, oh, this is almost a one Allen boot. Yeah, it is almost a one Allen boot. So, thank I mean, you. The, the three door is a quarter Allen boot. Yeah, I think you can fit around a salmon in a, yeah. in a, in a normal th in a normal three door. But that said, we we now have two hundred and eleven liters of luggage space. I think it was something like ninety five on the three door. If, yes. I, if I've got yes, my figures right. Yes, and then right. if you have the seats down, yeah. it would be a thousand one hundred and thirty six liters of luggage space which is a lot, um, com when especially compared to the, its three-door sibling. So For sure. I, I, think, I think that is one of the, the, bigger, the bigger selling points on the, on the new um, five-door, beyond only its new features, but obviously the That's practicality it. allowing everybody to join now, now. The other thing you've done is you've made quite a few upgrades, updates on the interior. Yes. So we're going to show you lots of it on the road, lots of it off-roading, whatever, we've had adventures. Yeah. But Anton, let's look inside. Hundreds. Okay, Anton, now we're sitting inside. Yes. And let me tell you something that I've picked up on this driving and yes. off-roading. The longer wheelbase has made this vehicle so much more comfortable to be in. Yes. It's not as jittery and jumpy as the short one. No, no, it is not. And um, it, it handles itself much better yeah, in cross-breed absolutely. In cross, in cross situations. Yeah. And then, obviously, on a gravel road in particular, we're a very um, corrugated gravel, gravel road, it sits happily and... It doesn't mm. push you around too much as, as the three door did and you know it's just overall a much more comfortable ride and totally and agree with you on that yeah okay let's look tech now Likewise, we're yes. in a glx model there's yes, a gl a glx yes so let's just show me the tech but also let's just mention the differences between gl and glx okay. while we do it okay okay so so what we so obviously the the biggest difference that yeah. somebody has seen here the, the biggest difference that we can see here is the new infotainment system. This right. is a nine inch infotainment system. And it's a seven inch in GL. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So the seven inch similar size than yeah. the than its three door sibling. However, that is a exclusive unit. Okay. To the th to the five door, and this is obviously as well an exclusive unit to the five door, which obviously then allows for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wireless, if you want, even. Yes, I just yeah. connect it over here. Yeah. Which. Then will then allow me to take off the phone. Oh, not this time. Yeah. <laughs> but in that yeah. case, yeah, you have then wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which makes it, um, you know, a wonder, wonderful feature for those who like driving and who like adventuring. The um, center instrument cluster has been refined a bit more okay. with some additional features. Right. Um, that would then be some, it gives you your average fuel consumption, etc., etc., to then. Um, yeah. Just give you some general driving information and then some keen eyed viewers will see that in the five door it's white as opposed to the three door that it was normally orange. <laughs> okay. In well, this case yeah. it's white, yeah. And a big thing is GLX has cruise control. That is true. The yeah. GLX will have cruise control, um, but the GL will have this exact steering wheel, just not clad in leather. Yeah. And still, minus one set of buttons. Yeah, man, minus yeah. one set of buttons for the cruise control, but it will still have um, buttons to operate the infotainment system as well as um, buttons to handle the wireless the wireless yeah. um, phone and stuff phone like that. And yeah. that. Okay, now over here. Yes. GLX again gives you climate control 100%. as opposed to manual aircon. Yes, yes. So this will have climate control and the GL you'll see just has the knobs and everything yeah. for um, your, your aircon and everything like Look, that. So it's nice, but that's not the biggest thing to me, quite honestly. No. Yeah, no. but it's a good feature. Now over here. Let's just look. Yeah, everything like this will be the same yeah. standard across the range, but this will be then your two window switches. Right. Your downhill ascent control, which will allow you to l go down a hill very leisurely rather than rushing be rushing down it. So with, with with electronic braking. It will use the yeah, it yeah. will use the brake LSD as well as the ABS system right. to kind of keep you within um, a safe a safe speed while going downhill and. You know, it's just a lack of feature to have for yeah. some novice overlanders and off-roaders. And okay. obviously, yeah. Do you know what uh, this is for? Do you know what this is for? The, this is... Um, no, you're going to be wrong. Do you know what this is what for? Is it, what is it for? It's an Allen hat stand. It is an Allen hat stand, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is our... This is our... Um, this is where the all grip in the pro... The word pro in all grip yeah. pro refers to the fact that it's a part-time four-wheel drive with a transfer case. Okay. So if you see all grip pro in any Suzuki... It will only be the Dimini, but uh -huh. if you see it in any Suzuki, that will mean it has a low range leave it low range gear, meaning that it operates through a transfer case to give you an extra set of gears for off-roading. Right yeah. now, talk this quickly. Is this is standard in both versions? It doesn't Obviously, matter. Yeah. But you know, everyone else has gone to a knob or a button these yes. days for you know, changing yeah. the modes. Yeah. This is the good old fashioned. This is uh, what 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 um, us Dutchies would refer to as a kortkiri, and 
Um, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. You know, what it means is just maintenance-wise, in if because we expect gymnasts to be around for quite a fair bit. Yeah. So maintenance-wise, they're just easier to work on, to find the, the issue on the linkage and everything. And that said, it just also just it, it adds to the authenticity of the Gymni 5 door. You know, it is it is an authentic off-roader and we market it as, as Correct. such. Correct. So, to have this lever in here yeah. just makes it a wonderful addition to a wonderful car. Okay, now, this is the five-speed manual version. 100%. There yeah. is also, Cheryl and I have been in the four-speed auto. Yes, you have, yes. Yeah. Now, look, obviously there are differences uh, on full-on, in the very deep sand, you helped me out because I'd missed one little trick. Yeah. to make the auto behave a bit better in, yes. the, in that deep sand. Yes. Yes. And that made life very easy. Yes, I'm glad to hear. But both, I mean, look, we're not even going to feature, you'll see so much, there's so much of it in the video of us off-roading sand, whatever. Yes. This thing is unbelievable. It is, it is. Yeah. So, everybody loves the Jimny, as yeah. I said earlier on. Money. Money-wise, um, um, I don't know the pricing off my head, yeah. so I'm certain you'll put in a slide here. I, but I will. But I do know the differences of it. So on the GL variant, it is only 39,000 Rand increase. Yeah. Um, um, from the three door to the five door. And with that, you don't only get the extra set of doors. Like I said, there's a, a plethora yeah. of, of exclusive Jimny features as well as three as exclusive colors that are exclusive to the five door. Um, something like the rear park distance control and the reverse camera. Uh, and the upgraded screen, that, yeah. You can see they, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, if, you, if I do that, you can see it. But... Um, those are features that are not standard on, mm. on, on the three door variant, but is standard on the five door. So you get a lot, you get a, a bit more value so for you're money. Not you're not paying the extra money just for the longer and the extra doors. That's yes, the you point. Get, you're you getting get, features. You get some extra yeah. features as well. And then, and then the difference on GLX model would be um, 41,000. So call it 40,000 straight yeah, between, 40, them, between them. And, and you're getting so much more. Mm. Besides, as I said, space and body. Besides the space and body, yeah. but, but that said as well, the, the increase in mm. practicality yeah. does make it a, a very enticing purchase now for people who, who normally would deter away from the Jimny due to its lack of practi practicality and, yeah. and somewhat. So this time, it's, there's no reason for everybody, there's no reason for anybody not to buy a Jimny and now everybody can Jimny. And just is, to tell you, price-wise, it's from 430 up to about 480 for the range. That's where we run. Because yeah. GL is manual only, GLX is manual auto. Yes. That's, yeah. Yes, we are, we're in the GL, we'll only have the manual variant and then auto and manual yeah. for GLX, yes. Anton, what a great event. Thank you. Okay, well done. Congratulations on the new job. Thank you. So now to sign off, I've got to do it this way. Yes. For Motor Matters, for today, he's Anton Villenser. I'm Eleanor. See you next time.